Hey guys, so I have a question. My question is, uh, let's get this right. My question is, how do you guys feel about Riley tools? Are you a big fan? Do you feel like they're trash? You know, what is your thoughts on Riley tools? My personal um, experience with Riley tools is that um, if you're a person that um, just needs to do a couple projects around the house every now and then or whatever maybe once or twice a year that you could probably get away with just using Ryobi tools. Um, I do believe that you won't necessarily recognize um, what you're missing if you start out with Ryobi and you stick with Ryobi but then if you um, progress on to different brands which that ends up happening when you run into a particular tool that is not available on that particular platform. But um, I have a bunch of Ryobi tools, maybe close to 50, and, um, you know, overall, I mean, one of the reasons why I progress to the more, um, I guess, the pricier brands like Milwaukee and also DeWalt, and then up from there, is because of, um, well, for one, I wanted to try to have a primarily battery-operated shop, so like tools that I was going to be using. Um, quite a bit that were going to be drawing a lot of power. I wanted those to actually run on batteries. Now, obviously, you can't have something like a drill press or um, a benchtop bandsaw or whatever, or planer or joiner to run on uh, batteries. But you can have stuff like hand planers, you can have miter saws, table saws, and the like. Um, and so, um, as a result, of that um, I actually owned I have a seven and a quarter inch um, Ryobi miter saw that I still own eventually I'm gonna probably get rid of that and replace it with the um, Milwaukee seven and a quarter because it offers the slide and bevel function and then also it's um, you know it's a compound miter saw versus the um, the just regular chop saw uh, quarter inch but or seven and a quarter inch so uh, but but I had that miter saw and then I also had the 12 inch Ryobi miter saw which I was using and you know I moved off of it because they don't offer um, well I was going to go down to their 10 inch I believe they have a 10 inch battery operated uh, saw that actually takes two batteries I was going to go that route with everything I mean everything was going to be Ryobi except for like the original um, Milwaukee toolkit that I own but um, they didn't have a table saw and um, I did own the, my, the uh, Ryobi 10 inch table saw as well. And I used it a few times. The fence wasn't very good on it. And, um, you know, so that was my, you know, attempt to go all Ryobi. There were just, you know, certain things that they just didn't make. Um, and um, I, with the Ryobi tools that I still own, um, they're okay. You know what I'm saying? They're not bad. I wouldn't say that. Um, they're like just terrible. Um, some of them, is, they seem to be maybe um, a little less, uh, there's a little less maybe technology on some of the older ones because a lot of my Ryobi tools are old. I don't have any of their newer line that they're you know pushing out right now. And, um, but I do have, you know, uh, I have sanders. I have, I think just one drill. I have a small little circular saw and uh, several other tools that I've purchased from um, that you know from Home Depot that are of the Ryobi brand. Now, I there was a couple tools in my Ryobi arsenal. One of them being um, the drill press that I have over here, and then the other one being a um, I think you call it a toilet auger or something. The thing that you use for the toilet, like if it gets backed up or whatever. Um, those are the two tools that I would say, oh, and the tape measure. The tape measure actually uh, went bad on me. Um, those are the tools that I kind of find, well, let me go back to seven and a quarter inch uh, miter saw. Well, that one probably just suffered damage, but the laser um, is broken on that. But the, the, uh, uh, the, the Ryobi drill press, I used it one time when I bought it brand new just to try it out and then um, you know as with life you know I got busy so I wasn't using it and then when I went to go use it again probably months later it didn't even turn on and so because it was under the three-year warranty and I have my uh, receipt I took it uh, took it into the service center uh, per instruction 
and they actually um, basically told me it was fried. So they ended up sending me a brand new one, which is this one here. I mean, it's several years old now. And um, I use it lightly. I actually tried to use it yesterday with that spade bit on there and and um, you know it actually stopped because it doesn't have a lot of power it also you have to kind of change the belts out you know uh, manually to get to different speed settings and such so that went bad the toilet auger it went bad in under the three-year warranty unfortunately I could not find the receipt so um, I was just kind of stuck with that one and I almost bought a second one because I think their upgraded version actually the, the, the um, drum that holds the toilet auger actually comes off maybe it's replaceable um, I almost bought it but I, I just haven't um, so um, those are the tools that I have to say that actually you know just kind of went bad on me um, other ones I would just basically say that um, by comparison, like if I use to talk about the drill, the drill that I bought, which was a very inexpensive, is the ch probably the cheapest one you can buy. I think I bought in the kit with the five and a half inch uh, uh, circular saw. It was not, um, it, it you know, it, it was nothing special. It was nothing special. It was probably, um, I don't know. I mean, it, it would probably, in my opinion, struggle to keep up with the 12 volt. Um, Milwaukee line and Dwalt for that matter so that kind of gives you an idea I mean and that's an 18 volt tool so you know there's a you know a performance disparity there um, that's pretty much you know just kind of a little you know question I have for you guys what do you uh, think about Ryobi tools I mean I have tons of them um, let me know um, if you'd like me to uh, go over my Ryobi tool lineup and you know maybe even if you don't let me know I may do that I actually recorded the video of me just kind of um, talking about my Ryobi tools be like you know why I bought it or, or what it is um, and it was like an hour long that's how many uh, Ryobi tools I was actually tired of talking by the end of that um, that little recording session so I didn't put it up because basically was unsure whether I should put it up in parts or if I should just, um, you know, just put it up at one time and let people, you know, peruse it if they want to or just, you know, maybe not put it up at all. I don't know. I'll figure it out. So anyways, uh, thanks guys for taking time to listen to this short video. Um, if you do get a chance, I'd like to hear and see what most people think or anybody that listens to this video, what do you think about Ryobi tools? Do you think they're good? Do you think they're you know, rubbish, you know, let me know. Thanks for taking time to watch the video. See you in the next one.